Hey everyone, it is Daggy here and thank you for coming back to the channel. So we have done the rogues, we have done the mages, and it's time to look at the paladins. And in particular, we're going to look at the protection paladin to begin with, and what a class it is overall. It is a fantastic class, it's a fantastic spec to play, and I would really like to in give you some insight on what it's going to be like in the battle for Azeroth. So, I do apologize, I am no expert on the Paladins, not one bit, but we're going to go through the talents, we're going to go through some of the changes, and there are, it's, it's a little bit confusing because there are a lot of word changes, but I'll inform you as we go through this. So let's hop across and we'll have a look at the abilities now. Alright everyone, so let's start looking at the Protection Paladin changes, and... First and foremost, there are a lot of changes coming to the Protection Paladin, but most of these changes are word changes, uh, spell power changes, or durational changes. There's not a huge amount actually coming to like major overhauls other than a few abilities, and we'll get to that as we scroll down. So there are changes literally coming to Avengers Shield, Argent Dawn, Avenging Wrath, Blessing of Protection, Blessing of Sacrifice, Cleansing Toxins, Consecration, Flash of Light, Hammer of the Righteous, Your Judgment, Light of the Protector, Your Mastery, and Shield of the Righteous. Now, a lot of these changes, as I said, to everything I just mentioned there, mostly refer to percent or word changes, so how the ability reads when you hover over it with your tooltip. I will, however, scroll down and I'll read out a couple of the more important changes. So one is coming to your judgment. So previously, your judgment increased the damage of your next Crusader Strike, Holy Shock, and reduced the remaining cooldown of Shield of the Righteous. So no longer does it reduce the cooldown of Shield of the Righteous, and it increases the damage dealt by any ability that, that uses Holy Power. So that is another change. Your other, another change here, guys, that is kind of important is your Light of the Protector. So previously, it increased uh, the amount of healing from Light of the Protector while standing in Consecration. Now it just basically heals you based off of your missing health and due to spell power. Um, now, if we scroll down, I think the only other major difference here is your mastery. Your mastery has been redesigned a little bit, just to read a bit more sim uh, bit more simplified. So your old mastery increased the damage, uh, sorry, increases damage reduction from your shield of the righteous by a certain percent, and increases your chance to block melee attacks. Your new mastery just reduces all damage taken while inside your consecration. It also increases your chance to block melee attacks overall. So a little bit of a reword there, guys, and it works ever so slightly different. So overall, out of all of these changes here, and, the, and I'll say this again, there are a lot of cooldown changes, as you can see in the blue writing here, but these three down the bottom here are probably your major three changes or four changes down the bottom. But... I am no expert in the Paladin guys, so if you really want to go through this at fine tooth detail, jump onto our head, come to the Protection Paladin and see how you like or do not like these talents. So we'll get to the actual talents in a second, but the actual talent changes are down here. And there is a couple of removed and a couple of new abilities. So Knights Templar and an old spell that I can't view at the moment, they're being removed completely. But you're getting Redoubt and you're getting Unbreakable Spirit as a talent, and they're going to get thrown into the talent tree. And we'll have a look at that in, in a brief second. So things like Blessed Hammer, Blessing of Spell Warding, Consecrated Ground, First Avenger, Fist of Justice, uh, Hand of the Protector, Holy Shield, Lo a Judgment of Light, Last Defender, Retribution Aura, they're getting changed in some way or form. And I'm not going to go through every single one of these changes as it would take almost forever to, to, to go through and read every single one. So I do apologize on that. Um, but if you really, really go, want to go come down here, guys, and read every single bit, jump onto wowhead.com and have a look. Um, one of the big changes that does really stand out just by looking at this is the Consecrated Ground Talent. So previously, up to six allies standing within your Consecration receive a certain amount of healing per one second, and enemies within your Consecration have removed uh, re reduced movement speed. But now it basically just it just increases your consecration uh, size by 15%, um, but your enemies still do get re uh, reduced movement speed. But overall, guys, there are a few changes coming. So let's jump across to the actual talents, and I will read out where these talents lie within the, uh, the Battle for Azeroth Protection Paladin. So on level 15, we have Holy Shield, Redoubt, and Blessed Hammer, and obviously Holy Shield and Blessed Hammer are the same, where Redoubt is Avengers Shield bounces to an additional one target and increases your block by 75% for 8 seconds. 
So your level 30 talents, you have First Avengers, Crusader's Judgment, and Bastion of Light. So your First Avenger, Bastion of Light, and Crusader's Judgment generally stay the same with those word changes or, or basically how the uh, tooltips read, but they stay the same. So your level 45 talents, you have Fist of Just Justice, Repentance, and Blinding Light. Once again, that row stays relatively the same. So level 60, you have Retribution Aura, Cavalier, and Blessing of Spell Warding. Now, I do believe all these stay the same once again with very minor changes, and that is highlighted in the Protection Paladin, like the overall change. So level 75, you have Final Stand, Unbreakable Spirit, and Hand of the Protector. So your Final Stand and Hand of the Protector stay the same, where Unbreakable Spirit is one of the newer talents, which reduces the cooldown of your Divine Shield and Lay on Hands by 30%, which is awesome. So level 90, you have light, uh, sorry, Judgment of Light, Consecrated Ground, and Aegis of Light. So Consecrated, Consecrated Ground, which is that one that just increases your Consecration size now. It does no longer heal uh, party members or raid members within your Consecration. Um, Ages of Light and Light's Judgment are generally the same. So level 100 talents here, guys. You've got Last Defender, Righteous Protector, and Sephirim. So Sephirim, Righteous Protector, and Last Defender generally are the same again. There are once, uh, like well, as I said before, some word changes. So guys, that is where your talents lie within the Battle for Azeroth uh, talent system. So... I do apologize, I am no expert on the Paladin and I'm just here to give you the information that is being changed. So if you want to come down into wowhead.com and read every little tooltip that has been changed, please do so because that will give you an insight on how your Protection Paladin is going to stack up in Battle for Azeroth. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so that is the Protection Paladin, the very first look at it in Battle for Azeroth. So what do I think overall? Well, I don't have a basis or a gauge. I didn't play the Paladin and Legion, so I don't have a great gauge leading into Battle of Azeroth. But judging by the changes, judging by the spec, and just how the talents are laid out and how they're read, I don't see this becoming a boring spec or a bad spec at all. I think the abilities give it a really nice class fantasy. I think that the Protection Paladin is going to be fine in Battle for Azeroth. So... It's only, well, only time will tell exactly how it falls as far as tanking wise goes, whether it really is the crux of tanking or whether it's going to fall a little bit short and needs a bit of a revamp during Battle for Azeroth. But overall, guys, I'm very happy with uh, how this reads, how it's laid out to us. So guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I do much appreciate it. And if you really wish to join my Discord, the Discord link is in the description below. You really don't have to, but the, the link is there if you do wish to. So give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, whether you like this video. I say this again, guys, I am no expert on the Paladin, so I may have missed a lot of things, and I really do apologize for that. But overall, guys, thanks again, and have a great day.